Hey there everybody. So I thought I'd give you a quick tour of my workbench and just show you different stuff that I'm working on and give you some ideas of what I want to do in the future. So um, as you can see here, here's my main part of my workbench. Uh, got storage compartments up there. I'm still working on organizing it. I got some containers here for larger stuff. This one here has speakers. This one here has thick wire and then thin wire. Um, I got some storage over here. I have resistors in this one. Odds and end components in here. Um, just different stuff I've salvaged from old electronics. Uh, temperature sensor there. Some big resistors. Um, laser diodes and then in this one here I have my some of my Arduino stuff and my little modules so I have uh, an Arduino Nano um, I got some LiPo chargers from eBay motion sensor a relay module LCD screen sound sensor some dot matrix stuff so right now that's kind of my collection of modules don't have too much yet and then down here I got old batteries and uh, motors in here I have um, project cases I got free samples from uh, a company online they were giving out free samples so I got some in here just some odds and ends I got some of these cleaning sponges for my soldering iron off of eBay real cheap uh, little cheap soldering iron uh, heat shrink tubing uh, perf board which I use this stuff as sort of like a mounting uh, frame thing for different projects Some LED lights I have a bunch of these I have a project in mind uh, whole pile of little bags to sort stuff in this here is just has some random boxes and papers in over here I keep my uh, jumper wires battery holders um, here's a whole thing of resistors I got one time it's kind of funny how I got these I got them for free off of eBay I never ordered them but I ordered some other stuff and these were in the package with the other stuff I never paid for them never ordered them so Kind of got them for free. Um, got some different boards back here I've designed. This was an LED cube for an Arduino. My first try. I want to make a second one. Um, Joel Thief circuit. Messing around with making a um, flashlight. That's what all them batteries down there are for. Uh, heat sinks. And some other little random stuff just a bunch of random wires and a big speaker which I want to get out of there so I have more room for other stuff then in the center drawer here is where I keep my some of my tools got drill bits tweezers solder sucker rollers pliers um, some drill set uh, flux Adhesives, small precision screwdriver set that I got from Dollar Tree for like a dollar or two, like a dollar. Cutters, screwdrivers, yeah, just some basic tools. And then I got my soldering iron there. Have my helping hands and some other stuff I use these containers here to sort stuff in so let me get this open so 
so I put some of my jumper wires in there to keep them sorted. Uh, have a little cheap Dremel that I got sometime for Christmas. It does okay. I want to upgrade eventually. Uh, working on some projects here. Right now this here is a platform for a robot Arduino car that can drive around by itself. Right now I'm just getting the motors working, figuring out how to turn it and everything in code. Eventually I want to add the ultrasonic sensor so it can navigate around. Um, I flip it over here. You can see it has two motors. One runs this side, one runs this side. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> and um, so that's how that works. Um, to power it right now, I don't have any batteries, LiPo batteries or anything. So what I have to do is I have this uh, power supply here that goes from AC current down to, I think, 30 volts DC. And then I have this um, DC to DC power converter here that I have set up for 6 volts right now, which is what this car ran, runs at. And then I feed that into the Arduino. Yes, and the Arduino runs a little better on 7 volts to 12 volts, but it can do just fine on 6 volts. So, so far I haven't had a problem with it. Um, another project I'm working on is an Arduino um, <coughs> uh, infrared sensor uh, with this remote. I want to eventually set up my room so that it, you know, I have LED lights in my room. I want to set it up that I can turn them on and off, uh, change the brightness of them, you know, have them flash or whatever, do a bunch of different stuff. Basically, set my room up that I can control it with an old TV remote. So, turn my main lights on and off, you know, just about anything I want to do in there. Turn the fan on and off, slow the fan down, you know, a bunch of stuff like that. Um, back there, uh, I'm just taking that RC car and I'm going to add a LiPo battery to it. Um, the battery that came with it no longer charge holds a charge. So I'm just modifying that a little bit. I want to put some lights on it. Maybe one day I'll get it working with an Arduino. But for now, I'm just going to get it run working. Have some books and notebooks up there. Um, so yeah, it's kind of it. I got some old boards over here that I was uh, tearing apart. Got some old laptops and stuff. I need to get this cleaned up. My mom has been kind of frustrated with the mess, which I don't blame her. <laughs> so, alrighty. Well, thanks for watching. Um, I'm hoping to make more videos soon. It's just been a little crazy with my school schedule and working and finding inspiration. Um, since my channel's a little newer i have a hard time uh, making videos it's just a little weird talking to a camera and with nobody there to respond so you know hopefully i can get used to it and start making some good videos thanks for watching